Hey guys, it's BB202, and as you may have already seen, yesterday the LEGO Castle Magista's Workshop gift with purchase set was leaked. There's a picture of the box floating around on Instagram. No pictures of the inside just yet, but I'm sure that'll be coming soon. And I'm gonna give you my raw thoughts on it. It's, we're just gonna do this in one take. It's gonna go how it's gonna go, because long story short, this is a very bad set. Now before we get started, don't forget to subscribe. LEGO Castle videos are all I make. And despite the negativity that's going to come out in this video, I do love the Lego Castle theme. And that, honestly, is why I'm so mad at this set. Because it could have been a lot better. When I first heard the information that this was going to be a remake of Magisto's Workshop, I was concerned because I know how Lego handles remakes. They don't always do them well. I'm not too much of a fan of the El Dorado Fortress they put out earlier this year, and I was worried it was going to be something like that. And unfortunately, it was. So what we got was not exactly a faithful remake, nor was it an innovation on an older set. I actually think it's a worse set compared to the original, which is over 30 years old. That's bad. We're going to get into why specifically, but let's start with the good first. The first good thing is that there's a door. I know, we're starting really small. The old set did not have a door, I guess because maybe Magisto's a wizard and he could teleport in and out of the building, but the real explanation is they probably just forgot to put a door in there or they thought the hinges that opened it up would be a substitute for a door. That's goofy, all right? I would prefer to have a door on a building. So there is a door, but it's not a very good door because it doesn't open. Or if it does open, that would be a shock because it looks like it's directly connected to the rest of the structure and it doesn't have a hinge. That door isn't even the height of a minifigure. That's ridiculous. I mean, <laughs> these are just, these are basic elementary level design flaws, right? I, man, yeah, okay. Secondly, there's greenery. That's nice, the original had a few leaves. This one builds on that a bit. You do have these decent looking branches that are coming out of the side, some flowers in the front. Never hurts to have some greenery. Livens the place up a bit. Now the bad, there's a lot of bad. Let's start with the minifigures. We had heard for a while that we would be getting a new Magisto figure, that is not the case. It is a carbon copy of the figure that came out last year and that is a waste. It's a waste. They could have added printing, they could have added a glow-in-the-dark wand, different head, whatever, it doesn't matter, but they didn't do any of those things. Very lazy. Okay. The Dragon Knight, or the Dragon Master. Yikes. Okay. <laughs> First off, the helmet. The helmet is like airdrop directly from the Creator Castle set that came out a couple years ago. That's not a Dragon Master helmet. It's not. I was actually looking forward for that to come back and it, it didn't happen. All they did was kind of a sloppy recreation of the torso print. Not good. There, there isn't even a shield. Why? It wouldn't, I don't think it would take that much just to add a printed shield, right? We got one new printed part out of this. That's, that's it for the whole Dragon Master faction. So why even bring the Dragon Masters back at all if you're gonna be that lazy about it. This is going to be a common theme of this video. The absurd price threshold. Not good. It's like $200, $250 just to get this as a gift with purchase. This set, I mean, I don't even think I'd pay $30 for it on its own. So $250 is just not a reasonable threshold. I don't think too many people are going to pay that much money just to get this thing. And secondhand, even though it's not a good set, and that seems to be the popular opinion, it's still going to be way more than $30. You know how Castle fans are. Not worth it. Then we got the burps. Okay, the burps, the big ugly rock pieces, they were on the original set. I get it. But they're not even in Lego sets anymore. I kind of thought they destroyed the mold for it. Here they are. They could have just built a rock piece, and they didn't. Why? <laughs> if you're going to remake a set, you should either do a part-for-part -part remake which I'm, I'm not interested in, but some people are. Okay. Or you innovate on that set in some worthwhile way, rather than just changing around a couple of leaves. So the final verdict here is this is just a very poorly executed idea, and it's the first miss from LEGO in the castle theme in a long time. The problem with that is that we only get one or two castle sets a year. So when they miss, it stings for a while. I will not be getting this set. That means Lego is going to go quite a while without 
getting any money from me. Not a fan. So, anyways, that was my rant. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, whether you like this set or not. If you're willing to defend it, I am perfectly happy to hear you out. I know not everybody agrees, and we're going to catch some dislikes just because of the thumbnail. It's not that deep. I don't really care. But I share my thoughts. Now I'd like to hear yours. Thank you guys so much for watching.